Hi guys, uh, I just wanted to make a little day in the life video, kind of, or like, yeah, like, I've never done one of those, and I look fucking crazy, but I just woke up, it's 11, and I was up all night playing video games last night, mm, that's my baby Mochi, mm, I love him, and so I'm just gonna, like, film the shit I do today, and, like, post it, I don't fucking know what I'm doing, okay, yeah, I'm just gonna wake up right now, uh, I always weigh myself in the morning, I brush my teeth, and I take a big fat shit, sometimes I even masturbate. Mm, you're so precious. Mm. Mm. I love making out with my dogs. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I cannot film with Mochi always. These fucking dogs ruin my life. Alright, let's let these boys out. Oh no, I have some morning wood. Okay, boys. Be free. Ooh, it's so nice out today. It feels amazing. It's my little backyard. That's my little office. All right, I'm gonna go take a shit. I always have to weigh myself after I take a shit because I need to feel as skinny as possible. Okay, let's see. Oh God, ignore my toes. They're fucking ugly. 166. Huh. I admit, remain the same. How unfortunate. This is my current body i am trying to get abs <laughs> uh it's my gay agenda you get fucking homosexuals always people commenting on my bulge okay but well, i'm gonna show you guys what i'm wearing to the gym today and i need my legs to look as good as possible thank you i'm gonna wear a tank top which tank top i have to wear tank tops because i sweat so damn much i basically live in gym clothes probably wear this and I like to tuck my tank tops in so my waist looks snatched. Okay. And then let me put on my uh, my socks. I actually ended up changing into these gym pants or whatever, sweats. I don't know what the fuck I call them. Uh, I don't know. I just like them. It's like cold enough to where I can wear them now because I live in Arizona. It's always fucking hot. In the summer, I don't wear these, okay? And I always wear Converse to the gym. They are just the best lifting shoe um, of all time. I don't know what it is. Gotta wear fucking Converse. They just feel more comfortable. I don't run in them. I don't run at all. I don't run anywhere. <laughs> I fucking hate running. But I love lifting in Converse. Okay. Oh, one final look. Mm-hmm. She is pretty damn cute, I will say that. And now I come outside and I pick up all the dog shit. Mm, I'll probably put on a hat or also like my hair looks insane. Oh my God, it's so warm today, I'm so happy. It's November, it's November. This is why I live in Arizona, dude. Like the summer sucks, but after that you have beautiful weather. Okay, there's some shit right here. Hmm. Yum, yum. We love to see it. We fucking love to see it. This is such an interesting vlog. <laughs> just pick up dog shit. Oh look, we also got a fire pit in our backyard. And uh, I'm so excited to have our first fire. This lighting right here. I look fucking cute. No fucking cap. I hate saying that, why did I say that? Okay, I just opened up all the blinds in the house. It looks cute. And now we're gonna give the dogs some fucking treats. Who are those angels? Lay down. Lay down. Mochi. Good boys. Good job. Oh yeah. Now I gotta feed them, but I'm not even gonna film that because that's boring. Did you guys like this fucking little creative scene from a movie? <laughs> I love that I, I rested it on our shot glasses <laughs> to get one little bowl. Yeah, that was all staged, believe it or not. Yeah, my phone wasn't just sitting in there. Just when you thought it was over, she did it again, bitch. Oh, God damn, this Ziploc bag. <laughs> I'm just making my cereal. Okay, so this is the cereal I eat pretty much every day for breakfast. 30 grams of protein. Oh, sorry, 20 grams of protein. <laughs> and uh, 180 calories, all right? And like five grams of sugar. It's really good. And it has high protein, which I always love and need in my life. This milk, Fair Life. 
this is the shit, okay? Uh, it has 13 grams of protein per serving. And so with this cereal, it is 33 grams of protein. And it's fucking good. And like, it's the easiest fucking breakfast. Like I used to make like breakfast burritos for breakfast that were really bad. I used to be really bad at cooking. I've learned that you have to season your food. I used to not season my food like when I'd make my meal prep and stuff. And it tasted like shit. And so now I like making simple stuff. All right, I'm gonna eat my cereal in my backyard. I don't know if I'm gonna film the whole thing, but I just wanted to film a couple bites. Also, my mom got us these bowls and they're like low-key kind of cringe. They're like Mormon as fuck. Like on the inside, you see how it says stuff. It says scoop, sip, slurp, repeat. They just say like weird shit. And then she got us like plates too. And it's like meal ticket. Like it says like weird shit on it, which like, thanks mom. But like, I don't know. They're just kind of embarrassing. It's like, we don't usually eat out of them unless we're out of every other plate or bowl. <laughs> Today we are. Um, but yeah, anyways, here's the first fucking bite, bitch. <laughs> oh. Yes. I'm trying to show you, fuck. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Very fucking good. I usually eat breakfast like on my porch because we have like cute little chairs out there. But I feel weird talking to my camera on my front porch. And there's always people like walking by. I don't know. Like I'm just insecure and weird and like I have problems. Okay. Also, look at my new tattoo. It's kind of weird. They like put it behind my UFO tattoo, but it's a little cactus. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of wish I didn't do that, but <laughs> the guy didn't want it like off center. So it's like, okay, I just put it behind the UFO. <laughs> Regrets, just kidding. I don't give a shit. I, I've always wanted like a shitty little tattoo. And now I got one, just like a little cute, random ass, spontaneous tattoo with no meaning at all. So I like it. I call it my Arizona tattoo. We just got them around me the other day at this little like carnival celebration shit they had going on like down the street. They get all like cheap tattoos and I was like, shit, let's get cheap tattoos. All right, don't even acknowledge how I just changed my tank top. I just wasn't feeling the tan one. I don't love that one. It makes me like, it makes me look like a box. Okay, so I'm gonna make a concoction. That's what me and my boyfriend call it. And all it is is Metamucil, which everybody is like, you take Metamucil because you're a bottom, blah, blah, blah. No, I literally just take it because it makes my poop solid, okay? And then I put a beetroot powder and a super greens powder. And it surprisingly tastes really good. There's always people parked outside, but... Do you guys see this, like, truck out there? This fucking lady's walking around her truck out there. Like, we always have weird people walk... No, so, I have a story. Oh my god, I have a crazy fucking story. Really quick. Okay, this is like the first week we moved into this house. We have a little hose right outside this kitchen window right here, okay? And there's like homeless people walking around, like I said. <clears throat> Anyways, we like come back from the gym or something. We walk in here and we see this homeless guy walk over. And he comes over to the hose and we're like, oh, he's just getting some water. Like, it's fine, whatever. Like, he's probably really thirsty. It was like in the middle of the summer. No, bitch. He starts taking off his clothes, he pulls out a bar of soap, he gets like all soapy. He starts literally taking a shower on the side of our house with our hose. It was really uncomfortable to like just sit right here like two feet away from him just like watching him shower. Like it was so awkward and he was just like so shameless, like did not give a shit. <clears throat> so I went and bought this little thing that like locks the water, like it has a padlock on it and like they can't use it. Uh, cause I don't want just like homeless people coming and showering in my freaking front yard. You know what I mean? Okay, so I do about that much water. Okay, I have to show you guys, look how cool my blender bottle is. Yeah. She mixes herself. She mixes herself. Okay, and then watch this. She will blend herself. Yes, sir. It's kind of hard to scoop, but yeah. It's pretty fucking cool, right? Try to decide if I want to be brave enough to go to the gym with my hair looking like shit. Or should I put a hat on? I think I'm going to try putting a hat on. I like to have my hair poke out a little bit. <laughs> I feel like it's kind of cute. Wait, let me fix her. Oh no. Yeah, that's not, that's not it. I will literally just wear it like this. 
He's watching me. He's judging me. What do you think? You like my outfit? You like my outfit, Link? Thank you. <clears throat> I got an electric toothbrush. Because I'm fucking fancy as shit. Uh, and somehow my teeth are still fucking yellow. <laughs> Literally, that's like one of my insecurities. Like, I, when I post YouTube videos, sometimes when I'm watching it back, like, my teeth look yellow. Like, what do I need to do? I've done, like, whitening strips. I've done the electric toothbrush. I brush twice a day lately. <laughs> and uh, I floss. Like, what the fuck do I need to do? Alright, now I do gotta wash my new tattoo because I do not want that bitch getting infected. And all I do is really wash it with uh, like antibacterial soap and then I put lotion on it. So I'm just gonna do that right now. It's so easy, wow. How do people get infected tattoos when it's this simple? <laughs> like my friend Christina, she literally got a tiny little tattoo on her upper arm. It said 2001. And I went with her to get it and it got infected. And like the number one was like all fucked up. And I was like, bro, you guys wash it like twice a day. And then put lotion on it. Like that's all it is. It's so much easier to feel little tattoos too. Like this tiny one. Like how did she fuck that up? <laughs> then I just put a little bit of lotion. And you just do a thin layer. You don't want it to be too thick. There it is. My little cactus tattoo. Bye, Mochi. Have fun. Fun, my little angel, I love you so much. Always oh, that my handsome is boy. I'll see you later. Okay, I need to make sure I have my keys in my fucking bag. Because that would be horrible if I locked myself out of the house. We did that the other day. Rizvan, I had my keys in the house and Rizvan came out here and locked the door because he always locks the doors. Just like out of habit. And we locked the keys in the house and I had to like climb through a bathroom window that thankfully was unlocked. And now I'm like scared because I've locked my keys in my car so many times. Like it sucks. This is me going to the gym. Oh my God, I'm so cute. Okay. <laughs> the confidence on this guy, just kidding. You know, love yourself folks. Love yourself. You are beautiful. You are confident. This is my little office by the way. Pretty fucking cute. That's where I game a lot, edit videos. This is the couch in my dream that got stolen. Uh, yeah, that was not good. Oh, <laughs> these are all my plants. I was watering them yesterday. Look how beautiful. I love these cactus. These ones, eh, they kind of all are fucked up. Except I do love this one and this one. I'm a cactus whore. Like succulents can suck my ass. I've had so many and they all fucking die. Oh my God, I just... This, I forgot to water this one. Look at this one. He is fucking so long and struggling for his life. I almost just threw him away the other day. And I just realized I forgot to water him yesterday. Like, how did I forget? How did I forget? I don't know. And the more I film this, the more I'm realizing, like, my life is so uneventful. <laughs> like, my life is so boring. Uh, it's very basic. I'm going to try to make it somewhat entertaining, but... Yeah, let's get in the car and go work out. Okay, I don't want to film too much while I'm driving, but I did want to crank out my little car mount. I bought this forever ago because I used to do like little mukbangs and stuff. Do you guys remember that? Um, and so yeah, uh, I have like a really big pet peeve of people who like film and drive, especially like on Snapchat. My friends do it and it pisses me off. It makes me want to kill them. Uh, they will literally just be like snapchatting and stuff while driving like you're fucking stupid at least use a little mount so you don't have to touch anything um i don't know i was in a car crash a few years ago and i got traumatized um i wasn't on my phone or anything but it was still fucking scary and now i'm like super aware and i will say like it was horrible and i did total my boyfriend's car <laughs> but i like learn to be such a good driver. Like I am such a good fucking driver now. Like, I don't know. I think it just taught me that like I need to be like very careful because it was the only car accident I've been in that was my fault. And I've been in like four fucking car accidents uh, and I've always been rear-ended, but I finally rear-ended someone and it was like years ago now, but I felt so bad. I like cried. I felt so guilty. It was a horrible feeling. <laughs> Uh, I think anybody who, like, crashes into someone feels that way. <laughs>
I don't want to throw anyone under the bus, but there was this clip of, if you guys know who Tony Bomboni is, the ASMR artist, he posted a vlog like forever ago. And I guess he got in a car crash and apparently he blamed it on like his friend's energy being negative or something, which is kind of, kind of silly to me to be completely honest. <laughs> but he was like crying his face off about how he felt so guilty and I'm like, girl, I feel you. Like it is such a bad feeling getting into a car crash and like knowing that you're the one who caused the crash, you know? Anyways, we're going to the gym. My gym is like in downtown Phoenix. So we're going to see the city a little bit, which is cool because I live right outside of the city. Uh, which is perfect. Like, Rizal wanted to live in the city, but I wanted to live in a neighborhood, and so we found a neighborhood right outside the city. <laughs> and so it's perfect for us. Look how cool this art piece is. You guys, ugh, I guess you can't really see it, but it's like a Prince art piece painting, and he has glasses on. When I drive away, you'll probably see it. Um, and the glasses are like those circular, like street mirrors. You know what I'm talking about? Do you guys see that shit? I think it's fucking cool. Look at that. <laughs> I think it's awesome and I drive past it every fucking day, bitch. Watch me get in a car crash and filming it. That would be horrible. Especially after, knock on wood, dude. Like, I'm gonna jinx myself. Fuck, I'm scared. <laughs> oh no, we got some characters. Oh, he's eating food off the ground. Oh my God. See, the perks of living in a downtown area. There's always like kind of interesting people <laughs> walking around. But I mean, they never bug me, so. The only thing that ever happened was this guy at the gym, I came out and he was like, I'm trying to call my dad, can I use your phone? And I was like, I gotta go, <laughs> sorry. Uh, I did that one time though, I let this lady at Village Inn use my fucking phone to call someone and she was like texting them. And then after she gave me my phone back, um, I like saw their text and they were like texting in Spanish and it was some white lady. I was like, oh, she speaks Spanish. Damn, but yeah, and then Rizwan was like, you shouldn't do that. Like, you shouldn't give your phone to people. I was like, yeah, you're right. <laughs> you're fucking right. I also had a really weird experience when I was living in Utah. I, like, came home from work, and there was this guy in the parking garage, because, like, we lived in apartments at the time, and this guy in the parking garage was like, can you give me a ride? I need to go find my girlfriend, something, something. And for whatever reason, I said yes, because I'm fucking stupid. And I didn't have anything else going on. I was like, sure, like, I'll help you. And then it got really weird, and he was, like, trying to take me to, like, a gas station, and then, like, he went inside and got food, and then he came back out, and then he was like, do you want to come this way? And, like, he kept trying to take me, like, to different places. It was weird, and I felt like he was trying to take me, like, farther and farther from like my apartment and it was freaky and so eventually i just told him like sorry like i'm only gonna do like this and then you have to get out and like that was it um and so yeah ever since then i've just been very like good at saying no to people that need things like strangers especially <laughs> like i don't know but yeah we're in the city now it's pretty cool um i live right by so my gym is connected to the diamondback stadium which is like the baseball team and it's like across the street from the Footprint Center, which is like the Phoenix Suns court or whatever. I, I'm so gay, like I don't even know what I'm talking about. Oh, um, the Phoenix Suns like stadium, I guess. And they do like concerts there. That's where I saw Avril Lavigne and Machine Gun Kelly. And who else did I see there? We saw Billie Eilish, but that was somewhere else. Here we are, I need to give you guys a better view of like, the outside world. <laughs> I miss going on field trips. Field trips were so fun in like elementary school. It's like you get to get out of school with your friends and just like go on a fucking trip somewhere cool. Like, I don't know. I miss those days. That shit was fun. Like, I miss being a kid. Like, I don't know. I love how like when you're a kid, you say, oh, I guess one. What is this shithead doing? He just wants to get hit, bro. God damn, these bitches. This is a crosswalk. Like, wait for it to turn. Fucking green for you to go bitch like people me and my boyfriend always people just crossing right there like they don't wait for the crosswalk thing they just go i'm like y'all are fucking stupid that's why i gotta watch out for bitches like people don't know how to fucking even walk it's not even driving this way people don't know how to walk <laughs> cross the fucking street properly we fucking are i feel like i look so small behind the wheel and i feel insecure about it and i'm like <laughs> let me get my posture up I don't know. Honestly, people always ask me, like, if I ever post, like, a hot picture or something on, like, Twitter, people are like, how tall are you? People will, like, judge my worth based on my height, and it pisses me off because I am a little bit insecure about my height. I am 5'9", which is, like, average, or some people call that short, but 
you know what? Like, I'm happy with it. There's people out there who were like three feet tall and like there's nothing they can do about it. And there's nothing I can do about my height and I've just accepted it. Okay, and I'm damn cute. <laughs> I'm trying so hard to be confident right now. Okay, this is my gym. Is my parking good? Shit, probably not. I have gay parking skills, like they're not good. All right, I might try to record like one little video of me doing like little squats or whatever, but yeah, other than that, don't expect too much. <laughs> Hey guys, I just finished my workout. I did abs and legs and it fucking hurt, dude. And uh, do you guys wanna see my disgusting hair? I always take my beanie off after I come out of the gym. <laughs> you like my bangs? I think like a fucking Karen. Holy shit. Um, yeah, it's all wet. We love to see it. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna drive home now. Um, should I record? I don't, I don't know. Is that boring? Like, I don't fucking know. Oh my gosh, I need to show you guys something. So when I was eating my cereal, I forgot to say this, but people were tagging me in this tweet and someone tweeted a picture of like a bunch of my thumbnails from YouTube on my ASMR channel. And they were like, this ASMR channel is completely unhinged or something like that. And it had like a lot of retweets and likes and everybody was like talking about my videos in the comments and like posting little clips and other thumbnails and I don't know. It was just like really funny to me. It like, kind of made my day, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but here's the thing. I kind of talk about this on my Patreon. Like I do Patreon podcasts, like short podcasts I do every week on my Patreon. Um, and I've talked about this a little bit, but like, the more I am in the, like, entertainment industry, I guess, which, like, YouTube can be considered that, as well as, like, music and, like, movies and things like that, like, the more I realize you kind of gotta do, like, weird shit to get attention. Like, if you look at celebrities, like, look at Billie Eilish and, like, Lady Gaga, they always do, like, these weird, crazy things for attention and, like, people start talking about them. Like, the meat dress thing that Lady Gaga did or, like, Billie Eilish's like creepy music videos or like whatever. Um, oh, it feels so good outside. I'm so happy. Um, we might roll the window down. Is that too loud? I don't fucking know. Um, and so yeah, I've been kind of trying to like make videos that are kind of weird that like will get people talking, <laughs> and it actually happened. Like people are tweeting my videos and like talking about them. And I don't know. It's really exciting, and I'm also so close to hitting a hundred thousand subscribers on my ASMR channel. I have 92,000 right now, and I'm like, I've, I'm not gonna hit it by the end of the year, probably, because I'm only getting like a few, couple thousand every month, and I only have two months of the year left. Um, so I'm hoping early 2023, I will hit 100,000 followers, get my silver plaque, and I'm so excited. Like, that has been my dream for so long. And I know Relaxing Male ASMR, pretty much my only YouTube friend, he, I think he did hit 100,000, or he's like very, very close. He like tweeted a picture and he had like 99,000 followers. He was like so close. So I'm pretty sure he's gonna get it too. I'm just so excited for him and for myself. Like, I just think that's so awesome. Oh no, the dogs are here to greet me, bitch. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Oh, he always brings me a present. He always brings me a present, huh? Oh, so precious. So precious. I like to make them fight over this toy. Like they both get a side and then most people start growling at Link. Oh, hi, here, chum. I'm gonna make a protein shake and uh, I'm not even gonna film it because that's boring. And uh, yeah, I should probably film another video, but I don't know if I will for sure. Um, and I'll probably practice guitar a little bit because I'm learning guitar. Maybe I'll film a little bit of that. And yeah, then I kind of just got to chill the rest of the day. And, that's fucking usually how my days go. <laughs> Nothing too crazy, I'll be completely honest. This is me getting in the shower. Honestly, <laughs> I got back from the gym like an hour ago and I've just been sitting on my phone. I just masturbated. There's cum dribbling out of my penis as we speak. <laughs> and 
I am gonna. It's right from my phone. I always watch YouTube videos as I shower. Oh my god. Ooh, it's cold. Hold on. <laughs> I made an ASMR video. Come shower with me. Oh yeah. We love a good shower. My true ugly self. But you know what's annoying is I've had people comment on like my Instagram stories and they're like I think it's time for a haircut. You need to go get a haircut. I'm like, why does anybody comment on someone else's like appearance or something? You know what I mean? Not that like I'm offended by it or anything, but it's just annoying. I'm like, I would never look at somebody's story and be like, they need a haircut or I would never especially message them and say, you need to go get a haircut. Like, you need to change your appearance. Like, that's just messed up to me. I don't know. And I was like, I'm growing it out. So, no. Thank you, though. Like, thanks for the suggestion. Wow. I've never had a haircut in my life, actually. Wow, why didn't I think of that? I'm growing my hair out for once in my life. And I'm gonna like it. And I do like it so far. Like, it's never been this long in my life. Which I know it's not saying much. Like, it's not that long. But I wanted to get to like at least shoulder length. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see what happens. Okay, so now I basically have to make the decision if I want to like have my hair crazy or if I want to part it and make it look nice. Cause that's like my nice look. But sometimes I just want it to look free and I just get out of the shower and I just let it dry. And like, however, it dries, it dries, right? But I think I'm just gonna let it go crazy today. We're just gonna go like this today. Relaxed and ugly as shit. <laughs> That's weird. If my hair just dries like this, it'll be like curly. It's so weird. I didn't even really know I had curly hair uh, until I grew my hair out. And now I usually eat like a protein bar or like fruit or something. And I uploaded a YouTube video and it is doing well, which I'm really happy about. Um, and yeah, I'm just gonna eat something and I think I'm just gonna like game a little bit. I don't feel like working, especially because my video is doing well. If my video didn't do well, I'd probably start filming a new one, but this one's doing well. And sometimes I just like to let the views like ride out until I have a new idea that's good. Um, so yeah, I think I'm just gonna eat something and play some video games. Okay, welcome to my outdoor mukbang. How does my hair look, y'all? Crazy. Is the sun shining on you? Y'all good? Oh my God, this video is gonna suck to edit. It's gonna be so long. Um, I ate these little protein bars. They are 20 grams of protein. This might as well be a what I eat in a day. <laughs> this is basically a what I eat in a day video. Mm, I love these little shits. Get them from Costco, very good. Ling is obsessed with birds. So, you see those little telephone wires? There's birds that sit up there, and he just goes and stares at them. Yep. I'm also just glad we have a backyard now for them. Because we did not have that at our apartment. <sighs> Such a beautiful day. Mm -hmm. I love it. So nice, makes me happy. I love the sunshine. These also make me happy. I fucking love Triscuits so much. His hair is getting so long. Hi, hey, Coach. What are you doing, baby? I love you. Mm. My dogs are like my children. I love them. I'm <laughs> like, what is Moti doing? <laughs> He's been sitting there for like five minutes, just standing like that. What are you doing, Moti? Freaking weirdos, bro. Yeah, I'm gonna go practice guitar a little bit. I'll probably show you a little bit of like what I've learned, I guess. It's hard. Guitar is hard. I play piano too. And I feel like guitar is even harder than piano. Like, cause you can like mute the strings with your fingers on accident. And if it's not perfectly placed, it doesn't sound right. It just sucks. But it's fine. I am really liking it. I don't know, Link sees a bird. <laughs> I do like having my own backyard. Like, I literally laid out butt ass naked in the grass the other day. 
to like tan because <laughs> at our other apartment we had a pool which was nice but it was like a public pool so there's always like annoying kids and shit there and now i can just lay out in the backyard butt fuck naked i don't think my dick has ever seen sunshine until the other day okay you know what's kind of embarrassing so i have a hydro flask now but when i was like a welder and stuff i don't know why it never occurred to me to get a fucking water bottle i would always get a smart water bottle from the gas stations and i would just like refill it I did that for like years. I don't know why I never just thought, I should go get a water bottle. And then my mom bought me a hydro flask and I was like, what? <laughs> it like blew my mind. I was like, they have those? Like, I don't know why it never occurred to me. No idea. Sorry, I'm using my water bottle as my tripod. <laughs> Ooh, okay. These are rosemary and olive oil, baby girl. So fucking good. Mm. Mm. I have been dieting for like a year and I have lost 35 pounds and I'm trying to get leaner and I think I look pretty good now like I'm happy with my body although I, I do like when I'm thicker because my arms look bigger but like I just want to get abs you know <laughs> just for once that's like my goal right now and maybe I'll like bulk up a little bit after that all right, well, I'm gonna go to my office and play a little bit of guitar. I got my guitar on, this is my baby. I think she's beautiful. I love her. And this is my stack of guitar picks over here. You guys see that shit? <laughs> I like the thin ones, they're different um, thicknesses. And I love the thin ones, they're my favorite. <laughs> First one, I'm not perfect at these, just so you know. Like, I'm, I still struggle with them, but just a couple songs that I'm trying to learn. This one is a Blink-182 song called What's My Age. It's an old song and I just have always loved it. It's like one of my favorite songs. It makes me feel very like nostalgic. So I'm learning like the little beginning part. <laughs> Try. I have to remember how to play it though, hold on. <laughs> anyway. So I'm gonna take the dogs on a little car ride. And you're gonna see Mochi's reaction because he freaks out to a certain word. <gasps> you guys wanna go on a little... You just want to go on a little trip? Oh no! We're going on a trip, Mochi! Oh no! Oh, he starts freaking out every time. Are you so excited for the trip? Oh my goodness! We're going on a trip and our favorite rocket ship. Swimming through all those hops though. Are you so excited? 
Okay, let's go on a little trip, boys. Mochi always loses his shit. He loves car rides. They both do. All right, let's go on a little trip. You ready? Get in the car. Oh my God. Okay, I don't know if you can see them at all, but I always roll their windows down. And we're just gonna drive around the neighborhood a little bit. It's gonna be relaxing and the weather's very nice today. The only thing is Link sticks his head out the window and he's like in my blind spot sometimes and I can't see and it's like scary, especially when I'm like on the freeway or something. Okay. I honestly have a cute little, oh shit. Cute little neighborhood. I know I'll close the gate though. Sorry car. Maybe I'll show out the window a little bit so you guys can see. Um, I really like our neighborhood. I think it's really cute. We take our dogs on walks a lot. And it's just a cute little neighbor, like, oh wow. Whoa, oh my God. So that guy was like scraping paint off his house to expose the brick. I'm like, exposed brick is the thing. Like, I don't know if you guys could see, but our house has exposed brick and it's really cool. I love exposed brick. It's just really pretty. Um, that guy was doing that to his house. <laughs> Yeah, our neighborhood's so cute. There's like palm trees and shit. And when the sun is setting, it's like really pretty. Like, I just, I'm really grateful that I live here. And I have a good life, you know? Like, I'm happy that I have a good life because I, I hated my life for a long time. I don't know if you guys can see all the palm trees as we drive by, but like the roads are like lined with like palm trees. I wish I could flip, maybe I'll flip the camera around. I don't know, in a minute. I'll have to like pull over or something. See how safe I am though. I'm like, I need to pull over to flip the camera. Like some people wouldn't do that. People would just do it as they're driving, but no bitch. Oh God. I get nervous when uh, we pass by dogs or anything because when Link was a puppy, he jumped out the freaking window. We were at a park and we were like driving, looking for parking. He jumped out the window and like freaking face planted onto the road. This is the hood in which I reside. It's cute though, I don't know. I really like it. I haven't really shown like my house and what exactly it looks like, like the outside and stuff. Um, just cause I'm scared. Like what if someone's like showed up to my house? I don't know. They probably won't, <laughs> but like you never know. But yeah, this is it. It's really cute. I love it. Very chill neighborhood. I love it. Link puked. <laughs> I look back and I hear him like gagging. And he puked in the car. Come on. I don't know if he got car sick or he ate too much. He puked so much though. Like we have these special dog bowls because he eats so freaking fast and then he just pukes it all up. So anyways, I gotta clean this. Luckily it's not that much, but I'm fucking used to it, dude. <laughs> I just wanna say that I do love, I don't know, I just love this time of day. I think that like the living room looks cute. The view out the window looks cute. <laughs> I love these giant windows in our front yard. Like our neighborhood just looks cute. I love the trees, the grass looks good. I don't know, I just love this time of day. It's like my favorite, but. Anyways, I cleaned up the puke and now I'm in a game. I just played Apex for a couple hours and I'm fucking hungry. And so I'm going to make, I made a bunch of like pasta yesterday. <laughs> it's like protein pasta and I put like chicken and marinara sauce. And it's really good, but I'm feeling lazy. So I'm going to, make oatmeal high in protein and pretty good nothing amazing all right this is it nothing too crazy you know what i was saying how like, my hair gets curly isn't that freaking weird like who would have thought like I, one of my good friends who like i've been friends with since high school she messaged me because i posted a picture of myself on my snapchat and she was like is your hair curly all of a sudden? Like, what happened? I'm like, I think it's always been curly, kind of. I just 
I've always had it short, like my entire life <laughs> until now. So yeah, let's eat this shit. Oh no, I eat so slow when I talk. I don't know if I should do this, <laughs> but oh, really fast. What does that look like to ya? What does that look like to ya? It's called a cactus, not a cactus, a cactus. And our friends got it for us, and I think it's iconic. <laughs> and it's just sitting here, and I, I always love it to look at my cactus. Okay, I hope it's not too hot. Ah. <clears throat> I have a baby mouth, like, temperature and spiciness. I don't do that. I can't do spicy. I can't even do like hot Cheetos and shit. Even like pepperonis. Like as a kid, I hated pepperonis because I thought they were too spicy. I'm a bitch. <laughs> Honestly, I really am. Like I cannot eat anything that a normal human can. And if I go to a restaurant and there's something that like might be spicy, I'm always like, is this spicy? I ask them. And they're always like, no. And if they say, no, not really, it's 100% going to be spicy to me. Not really means, yeah, it's going to fucking kill you. And then no means, yeah, it's a little spicy. <laughs> like, honestly, that's usually how it is. Uh, and it sucks. I hate it. I don't know why my mouth is so sensitive. So now I got to eat sweet things like protein cereal with protein powder and that tastes like candy. <laughs> God damn it. Mm. Hot. Mm. Whoa, there's a little fuzz flying around, ew. But yeah, I was just playing Apex with uh, this guy that I met on there. I'm like, he's cool, but I don't know why, like, I don't like talking on games unless it's like my friends or like my boyfriend. And like, this guy's chill. And I'm like, maybe I should talk to him. Maybe like, like give comms, like have a better communication. But I don't know why, it just sounds like so much work. Like, I think that's an introvert thing, and, like, I could easily just talk to him. <laughs> talk to him. And, um, I don't know. Like, I just don't. And I feel kind of bad, because he's always like, how's it going, blah, blah, blah. And I don't say anything. I'm just, like, quiet. <laughs> I just have my mic muted the entire time. And, like, I don't know. It's weird. I think it's, like, an introvert, antisocial thing. I don't know. Mm-hmm. And I just took the dogs out. Mochi took his sweater off, which... It's surprising. I don't know how he did that. I got the dog puke all cleaned up. And I'm just chilling, baby girl. And I really want to jerk off again. <laughs> if I'm being honest. Yeah, I do. I do. I jerk off a lot. I think today, I probably jerked off at least three times already. Fourth time's the charm, am I right? I don't know, Twitter has the best porn, though. If I'm being honest, like... It's kind of funny talking about this so openly, because I know, like, sex is such, like, a private thing. I just don't give a shit. I like talking about sex. Um, and I grew up very religious and, like, taught that sex is bad. And I had to, like, repent to my bishop when I was a kid. When, like, I was in high school and junior high because I had, like, been jerking off. And I always felt so guilty for it. And so now I'm like, bitch, I'm going to be so open about this shit. And I'm gay and I'm out of the closet. Might as well be open about my sex, my sex life. <laughs> and so, yeah, I fucking love jerking you off. Mm-hmm. But every time I get on Twitter, I get horny. The best porn's on Twitter. I don't know. I don't like the porn that's like very high production value. Someone just liked my uh, comment. Okay. Um, yeah, like the point has like really good lighting and high production value. I just like the shit that's filmed on like an iPhone. Just like in a living room or a bedroom, like easy, simple, nothing crazy. Like I love the amateur shit, <laughs> to be completely honest. It's way better in my opinion. And like, I can watch straight porn. I don't mind it, but the guy has to be really hot. But sometimes the women, okay, there's this porn. I like it, and I like, sorry, I was like shit on my face. <laughs> There's like this one porn video that just came to my mind. And the guy looks super fucking hot, okay? And the girl, fine, whatever, like, I don't give a shit. 
but the fucking moans she does in that video, she's like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Like, it's so bad. And like, ah, I always have to skip those parts if I ever watch that video, but it's like an old video. Like, I don't really watch that much anymore, but um, yeah, that one just came to mind. Like women who moan like that, and I feel like they're not even being like satisfied and they're just moaning to like s seem like they are. So annoying. Also, you know what? I don't get <laughs> in fucking gay porn when the bottom has a flaccid penis while he's having sex. I just view that as he's just like not enjoying it. Maybe it's painful. It doesn't feel good. Like he's not enjoying it. Like if I'm ever bottoming, I'm hard the entire fucking time and I'm jerking myself. I'm getting too far into this and I'm jerking myself off at the same time. Okay. Why is their dicks flaccid? Do they not like it? Like Jesus, why are they're like flopping around? I'm like, my dick would be like this. <laughs> Just straight up bitch. I don't know. Anyways, I'm talking too much about sex. Let's talk about something else. Mm. There was this one guy. Sorry, back on the sex topic. There was this guy who he had like a really hot like and I'm pissed about this. And he was like, I'm a top one percent on OnlyFans. Like every fucking OnlyFans person has that in their bio. And I bought his uh, OnlyFans, it was only like a couple bucks, and I was like, sure, let's see what you got. It was the worst OnlyFans I'd seen in my entire life. It was all just advertisements of like some stupid pill that makes your dick bigger that doesn't work. You can't just take a pill that makes your dick bigger. That doesn't, that's not how shit fucking works. If you got a small dick, you're stuck with it. Okay, you might as well put on an extender. They have those. You might as well get one of those. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Anyways. It's been a while since I bottomed. If I'm being honest. I don't know, bottoming just sucks. Like, I hate the preparation. I hate douching. I don't know, like, it's good during, but after it sucks. Especially if there's cum in your ass. <laughs> For real, it's like... I remember one time there was cum in my ass and I went to Pancake House, which is a really good place in Utah. I think it's here in Arizona too. Um, and like I farted, just a cute little, a little fart and cum came out and I had cum all over my underwear. And so I had to go into the bathroom and like take my underwear off and put them in my pocket and like clean them. It was so stupid. Bottoming sucks. And also I've gone to the gym after like bottoming and shit and... Same shit happens because like you're lifting it, you're like tightening your core and everything. And then sometimes little farts come out and like when you get fucked, there's fucking air in your ass. And so like cum comes out and lube and like a mixture of both. We don't like it. We don't like it. I need to top more. <laughs> I don't know. The life of a verse queen. Honestly, I like both. People always say, oh, if you're a verse, you're just a bottom. No, bitch. I'm really not. I like bottoming, but I like topping, too. I don't know. I think it's just because more people like bottoming for some reason. I don't know why. I like feeling dominant, too, sometimes. It honestly depends on my mood. But... Anyways, enough of that. You're probably bored of my sex talk. Um, what else can I talk about? What's there to talk about? What's going on in life? Uh, apparently, Elon Musk is like charging eight dollars to like have a verified Twitter account, and like, it's the dumbest shit I've seen in my life. I'm like, nobody wants to pay eight dollars to get on fucking Twitter. Imagine if every social media became like a subscription. That would be fucking terrible. And, like, they'd make a lot of money, but I feel like social media would probably die and, like, other companies would, like, make free ones and, like, YouTube and shit would all, Instagram would all die off and people would leave the, that shit and go to the free ones. 
You know, TikTok pretty much came out of nowhere, and, like, they're fucking everywhere now. Everybody watches TikTok. Except for me, clearly. Speaking of which, I did... I am supposed to post a TikTok. <laughs> I filmed a TikTok last night. Just a stupid one. I have, I'm starting this little series that's, like, things hetero men do that I don't understand, part one, or whatever, and, like... I filmed part two last night because my other one did got pretty good views on it. And it was funny. It was about how like straight men, um, and I guess I shouldn't just say straight men, but like that's kind of the joke. It's like, oh, I don't understand straight men. Um, like how guys, when they go to the gym, they'll wear a oversized t-shirt and then like halfway through their workout, they'll take it off to be wearing a tank top. And I never understood that. I'm like, that's the dumbest shit I've ever heard or seen and like, I don't pay attention. Like if people do that in my gym, I don't notice. I just see it on social media when I'm like scrolling and I see some guy like do that. And I'm like, what's the point of this? And then like some straight guy started commenting and they're like, it's a pump cover. And I'm like, pump cover? I've never heard of a pump cover. And it's like, so you hide your muscles until they're pumped up and then you take it off. It's the dumbest shit I've ever heard. And I'm like, I just go to the gym in a tank top. I don't give a shit about like my reveal. <laughs> Everybody was commenting, it's a reveal, like RuPaul's Drag Race. <laughs> and I don't know, I just thought it was so funny. So I made another TikTok saying how stupid I thought it was when I found out it was called a pump cover. And then I got a community violation strike or whatever it's called for like harassment and bullying. And I was like, I'm sorry, <laughs> it's fucking dumb. It just is. And so the one I did today, or that I'm gonna post, was like <laughs> when guys at the gym are like, or when people post like flexing videos, cause like that's all over Instagram and you know, people flexing and shit. And they take their tank top off like this. They put their arms through this hole and they pull it down like over their waist, through the neck hole. Does that make sense? And so I made a little TikTok about it and how stupid I thought it was. And I haven't posted it yet, but I'm going to. Um, anyways, oh my God, Mochi is begging. Look at him right now. Do you see this boy? Do you see him? Oh, he's so perfect. Anyways, I'm gonna finish my oatmeal because I can't talk and eat at the same time. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I will see you guys when I'm probably going to bed. I don't know. Okay, so it is like 3 a.m. I just got in bed and I was just playing games for hours. And I got really frustrated playing Apex and Overwatch and Red Dead Redemption a little bit. So I'm in bed now and Link is in my face. He's just so cuddly and like, Mochi always sleeps, you can't really see him, but he sleeps in that little nook between the pillows. Every night, watch this, Link is so clingy. He always has to be like touching or on top of me. So, it's really late, but usually I would read I'm reading this book right now called uh, Hidden Pictures. It's like a horror uh, novel. It's really good so far. I'm like halfway done, as you can see by my bookmark. <laughs> um, I really like it. It's creepy. Uh, it's about this chick, really watered down version. It's about this girl who's like a nanny and she starts watching this kid and he starts drawing like these creepy pictures and she thinks that they're like linked to some murder of some lady that was like murdered in the house and so she's like trying to figure out what to do and she's very like religious but the people that she like the parents of the kid are not and they're very like science-based and they don't believe in ghosts and stuff and like the kids drawing pictures of like a demon ghost chick <laughs> and like it's really creepy so it's really interesting and yeah i'm like halfway done but anyways i'm just gonna go to sleep probably listen to some asmr there's also a new shane dawson video out that i want to watch <laughs> and it's 3 a.m fuck i need to go to sleep but i don't want to i'm not that tired um so probably i watch a new shane dawson video i know everybody hates him and he's canceled and blah 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 but I forgive him <laughs> and I've been liking his new little series he's doing with Jeffree Star 
Uh, I think Jeffree Star is, like, a very interesting person, and, like, it's just fascinating to, like, watch him, even, like, like, love him or hate him, like, I think that Jeffree Star is, like, very fascinating just to, like, watch, I don't know, but anyways, um, have a good night, guys, or I don't know what time it is for you, but I'm gonna have a good night, and, uh, I'm just gonna chill on my phone now, and relax until tomorrow morning, and do it all over again tomorrow,